Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about a really nice tech card that I think could do wonderful things for your synchro deck this format. Videos by Yu-Gi-Oh! Smurf. Be great. The format specifically that I'm talking about is the 2015 April slash July format, if when that thing comes out. But the card in question, as you can see from the title, is Crimson Blader. He is a level 8 fire warrior synchro effect monster with 2800 attack, 2600 defense. He reads one tuner plus one or more non-tuner monsters. If this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends to the graveyard, your opponent cannot normal or special summon level 5 or higher monsters during their next turn. So why is this card super awesome? Because of that last thing. Your opponent cannot normal or special summon level 5 or higher normal monsters during their next turn. Meaning there's no going to be cleat fort Pendulum Swarm, there's not going to be any Necroz, Trishulas coming out, and you can even stop some of the Shadal monsters from being fusion summoned for big baddies. Unfortunately, it doesn't do much for Burning Abyss, but you know, hey, this is still a really good card, and if you can spam level 8 Synchro monsters in the second turn, ideally, then you have a nice little lockdown with some major attack points. So really, in my opinion, this card would be better played if your deck is suited to going second in the duel because your opponent will already have normal summon, special summoner set. If they haven't, they're waiting for a reaction from you and they are afraid of getting locked down because they set or normal summon or special summoned a monster. There's really not much more to say about this card. It's just a really good card. You should try it out in your synchro decks or any deck that can even splash synchros. Remember, Effect Veiler is a tuner, so use him to all of his effectiveness. Again, I just wanted to bring Crimson Blader back into your attention. It was very popular during the Dragon Ruler format, and I think it could definitely make an impact now because of some of the bigger, badder decks, including the cards that are soon to come out, which are the Fire Attribute Warrior guys. If you think Crimson Blader is worth running in this area format kind of thing, give this video a like, share this video so your friends know what you're talking about. Subscribe to me if you do me worthy. Have a wonderful day, guys. See ya!